I'm sorry if these videos have odd angles. I am driving, so I don't, I'm not gonna play with the camera and the angles and lighting and whatnot. Um, I am driving on roads that I, are like 20 mile roads that I don't have to make any turns, so I'm aware of that. But I wanna give, give you guys an update on today's EMDR session. And I wanna start by saying the irony is not lost on me that I feel so much anxiety going to appointments that are in part to help with anxiety. Like right now, if you watch my face get red or my chest get red, it's it's just anxiety. It's like my body is overheated. So that's kind of funny, but I just, you know, I'm making these videos so you know what to expect, you know, like if they're helping me or if they're not, whatever. So today we finished the roadmap that we stopped on last week and we had established what my like negative thought process was and we established it we established what my positive affirmation was. Um, however, we didn't get to like describing instances of like when I had felt that positive affirmation in the past. And some people don't have any recollection of feeling that feeling, which I learned that today. I didn't know that. So, you know, again, my positive affirmation was I recognize the things I can control, the things I cannot control. And so she had to ask like, when in your life do you remember feeling this way? And you know, I'm not gonna give like a specific example, but it's kind of funny because one of the things that it, you know, that are, is anxiety inducing and you know, has some triggers. I, while my body responds with emotional anxiety, my mind has recognized in those moments that I can control what happens, and I have. Like, I, I'm solution driven, so even though the anxiety is so high and continues to feed inside my body, I have found a way to get out of the situation that's in a healthy, a healthy manner, I guess you would say. So she was like, looked very interested, and she's like, so you're kind of falling into both categories. Like my examples, all of them, we're following in we're falling into both I am powerless and I recognize the things I can control and the things I cannot. So I found that kind of interesting and she seemed highly interested in it. Like it wasn't common. And I said, Oh no, did I do it wrong? And she said, No, it's it's not wrong. It's just typically a lot of people have trouble like I said, assigning a memory with the positive affirmation. So we just kind of went over that stuff and we went over, you know, a few, every appointment starts just kind of like quickly within five to 10 minutes discussing things that had happened that week. Uh, and this week I actually, so, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was so proud. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna be able to go to therapy and I'm gonna be able to tell my therapist that you know I had a good week and didn't have any major triggers or anxieties. And then like the universe was like, I'm sorry for the language, but like the universe was like, fuck you, we're gonna to go to the extreme. And I literally came in like face to face with the ultimate trigger. I I came face to face with a thing that essentially has caused all of my traumas and my reactions and the way my body regulates and everything. It's what started me down this path of like, okay, I need help. I need to go have therapy. And so we kind of discussed, you know, how did that make you feel? And, you know, she explained that you actually did a really good job controlling it. And I was explaining to her the way my brain works, like how at first I was proud of myself. And I was like, you know, I didn't react as strongly as I anticipated I would react when this moment occurred. Um, but then later that night I was down and out. And then I have a circumstance that I'm dealing with right now. I'm actually on my way home to, I mean, for lack of a better word, um, I'm on my way to have a confrontation with someone that you know, essentially I feel like wronged my child. I bring that up because at the end of the session, when we were done with the road mapping, when we were done with, you know, just discussing the week, she was like, we're gonna try the movements today, the eye movements, but because we only have 10 minutes left in the session, I'm not going to like start in on your trauma. So she asked me, can you recall something in the last week that 
didn't necessarily relate to your trauma it doesn't trigger you in an intense way but like maybe it was just a little annoying a little frustrating and I said yes and she said um, would you like to share and I was like yeah it actually happened right before I came here to therapy um, and so we went with that we we use that as basically it's something that caused an emotional reaction in my body it was an annoyance it um, was anxiety inducing but doesn't necessarily like send me into a trauma spiral like we don't have to have the time to really come out of that um, and not stay in the trauma so that was when she introduced the different methods of I mean let's say for lack of a better term the, the different methods of EMDR the different eye movement um, methods okay so one was her hand um, the other was you know self tapping yourself and then the other was the little buzzers there are little buzzers in your hand and this is gonna sound weird and I'm not gonna go into it in depth on this video because I don't think that a person can understand it without really hearing about it but I have this weird thing that when I'm dealing with like repetitive motions or um, just like I can't move or I, I can't move about in the world in the way I'm supposed to, I feel really, really heavy. I get really hot, I get really sweaty, I get really, um, my stomach starts to get sick. So I told her I just, even the thought of doing movement with her hands made me feel uncomfortable. It made my body feel like it was weighed down so that wasn't gonna work doing this made me feel like I have to keep up with that that's another thing that I have to focus on that I have to pay attention to doing right so ultimately we ended up with the buzzers and all that is are two buzzers in your hand so that's what we did we we went into that and she told me can you I want you to you can close your eyes you can look at a place on the wall but can you picture you know that circumstance that you know caused you frustration and I said yeah I actually like she said you know like maybe someone's face I said a hundred percent like I can tell you exactly what happened to the face and why it frustrated me and um, that's where we started so it was really kind of crazy because you go into it feeling like mm, I don't know what I'm doing I don't know how I'm supposed to feel I don't know if this is even gonna work there's so many thoughts going through your head but she started with e each segment segment was a 30 second increment so she spent 30 seconds with the this person is following so close on my tail she spent 30 seconds with the buzzer going back and forth and she told me what to focus on I want you to focus on the thing that frustrated you I want you to see in your mind the person's face and then afterwards she asked what do you feel and I felt anxiety really heavy in my chest I felt a lot of pressure in my chest and then she did it again and she did the thing for 30 seconds and after afterwards she's like what do you feel and I said honestly I kind of feel like like disassociation like my I pictured a color coming out of my chest like disconnecting from my body and I felt less attached to the anxiety and then I don't remember what I started to feel. I think I started to feel frustrated. Um, and then, you know, she did it again. And it was the, two more times happened, but I don't remember both. But I do know the one specific one was she asked, you know, now what do you feel after another round of the buzzing? And I said, honestly, I feel really tired. I feel really tired. Um, because I feel really annoyed that this is something I have to handle. I'm tired that I don't want to deal with this. Like my body just started feeling like this is something exhausting that I do not want to have to deal with. So, I mean, that was it kind of just, I'm sure I'm missing things. I'm definitely missing things. Then afterwards, you know, I told her to be honest with you, like I'm having a lot of like doubt, like I don't know what I'm supposed to feel. And, and I kind of feel ridiculous for feeling all that the range of emotions that I feel for something that maybe another person can handle and feel nothing like it just is something that they handle in a day um, and she said but this is this is how I know that it's already working for your brain and at that point as I started to like psychoanalyze the process and go back it really did make sense I felt so much anxiety and then I kind of like focused in on another emotion the anxiety subsided then I started feeling frustration and as I got more frustrated then I just felt exhausted my body was going through it and that's she's like this is why I won't start on your trauma with only 10 minutes left because 
that's essentially it that's how it works with your trauma so it will definitely get worse before it gets better and then after that we went into the meditative state the meditative the meditative method of EMDR which was you know closing my eyes or you can look at a place on the wall and going over you know the place your safety place so again for me it was Nicaragua and she guided me through that meditation it was like you know picture where you are picture where you're at in that picture who you're sitting down with you know the sounds that you hear and there was a break between all these she like really let me live in that moment and feel those and then you know what is the weather like what are the smells and that was I mean that was it and it did I did feel better after that I didn't feel great it wasn't great but I went from actually we didn't even do a number but I went at the beginning my 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 annoyance was at like a six um, and that was just because of the anxiety that was causing the anxiety that I, have, that I would have to deal with. But after the meditation, I felt like, okay, I don't feel great. I feel, I feel kind of, I feel anxious and I feel tired, but I don't feel the heavy, heavy weight on my chest. So that's, you know, that's really it. Next week, I think we will start in on the actual traumas because we'll be able to work on them the whole session. But it was really fascinating to see you know doing it for the first time like I said I was just overthinking it like even though and she said just let your mind go where it's gonna go and I was doing that but part of that was like oh gosh is this even this is so silly that I'm bothered over this or like oh I'm feeling this emotion or is this gonna work but then it just naturally really did start to maneuver into different things it, it changed and it was it was fascinating to feel that it's really hard to explain but like I said as you look back on it you're like oh I can see how that was working I can see how I felt one emotion really really strongly and then my brain just started me taking me through the instances finding a way to you know make it make sense or finding a way to detach and she said that's exactly what happens with the trauma you still feel it and you still think about it, but it doesn't feel so heavy on your body. Your body isn't carrying the weight and the pain of the trauma. And that's exactly what it happened. You know, like I had said, I feel like I'm gonna take a shot every time I said, like I had said, um, it really did start with immense pressure on my chest and it moved somewhere totally different that wasn't as overwhelming for my body. So I'm feeling good about it. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is not judging me and she even brought it up because I have a lot of self-judgment. Like, what do I have to be upset about? People have it much worse. You know, the whole thing that we talk about. And she was like, you know, I think also a lot of people come in here thinking I'm judging them and I'm not because I have the knowledge to know that everybody deals with things differently and what's small to one person is, you know, life changing for another. So that was nice just having that reassurance. But anyways, I could keep talking for days. I'm going to let you guys go, but I hope this is helping somebody. If you know somebody that could benefit from this treatment, feel free to send them this video. I know since I have done it, I've had a lot of people come to me and they're interested and they think it could be beneficial and that's been really nice because it doesn't feel great putting your problems out <laughs> to everyone on the internet. But if it's going to be a resource, you know, please let it be a resource. Send it to somebody. Every time I film these update videos, they're at such an odd angle because I don't have like anywhere that I can prop up my phone. Anyways, I am here in front of my therapy office uh, for my next EMDR appointment, but I'm just, my hormones are wrecked this week, and I'll be completely honest with you, like I feel that kind of anxiety that feels way out of my control, feels very heavy on my chest, I'm feeling like the waves of depression, so just like on my way here, it's a two hour drive, which in weeks like this, the two hours really just feels miserable. Like, I don't I don't want to do it. I want to come to therapy, but I don't want to make the drive. Um, but on the way here, I just, like, would randomly get spurts of just wanting to cry. <laughs> so, that, you know, I started thinking about it, and I'm like, that can either work for me or not work for me. I'm either going to, like, ball and look crazy or like I tend to do when I'm feeling emotional or vulnerable, I just kind of like go stone cold and you get nothing out of me. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to benefit or it's going to hurt, but we're going to see. I still have a while before my appointment. So I'm just going to sit and like calm myself, do breath work. 
It is five o'clock currently. I don't know if you can tell how exhausted I am. My appointment was actually, it ended at 12.30 today. And wow, <laughs> my nerves from this day are completely shot. My nerves are so shot just because, so my nerves are just so shot because the appointment was difficult. And then I went immediately to having like drive two hours from my appointment, then I had to go pick up my children, then I had to take one kid to dance, then I had to take another kid to swim, then I had to get on a call and have, essentially like have a confrontation. I had to clear up some stuff with somebody. So, I mean, just going from a difficult appointment to bouncing around from thing to thing, I'm pretty beat. So I guess if, you know, if I can say anything with this video, it's that, you know, be prepared to be able to take downtime after appointments because EMDR, she told me this and I, I've heard it and now I've experienced it. It's not always, actually, it's never easy. Um, it's it's really hard and it, it's taxing on the body, but eventually you start to feel better and you it starts to feel worth it. I obviously have not experienced that yet, but that's what she explained to me today. Um, because today we tackled my like smallest trauma she called it and it's not necessarily that it was any smaller than another but it just was like the easiest to get started on and it's this is truly like i mean i want to be careful what i say because some people i don't want to like be offensive or say something wrong but it's like witchcraft or like magic or um uh, it's really insane uh, I don't know how to keep making these videos because I feel like it's going to be the same process week after week, but essentially today we just did the same process with the EMDR with the, the buzzers in the hand and she walked me through a traumatic memory that I feel, I mean it's grief. It's, it's a loss and with that loss I feel a lot of guilt, I feel a lot of sadness. Um, I felt powerless in the situation and it's really insane because it felt like I was in the moment. It felt like I could reach out and touch the moment. That's how like tactical it was. And it just from moment to moment, like going through the 30 second sessions of like the buzzing and then taking a break, talking about what came to you, how you felt each 30 second segment was totally different than the one before it so the first one i just felt like just immense sadness and then the second one my body like detached like i saw black my brain had a hard time focusing then the third time i felt the opposite of feeling detached i felt like it was memory after memory like it was flooding in and my brain was bouncing from thing to thing to thing but i did experience this sens this sensation like it started out she gives you a scale like from one to ten how disturbing is the experience and you know it started out as a 10 and i think i got it down to a six and then you know she'll ask like from on a scale of one to seven how much do you believe your affirmation which again mine is i can recognize the things that i can and cannot control and that went from a one to a four so even though it wasn't like from one to seven it was progress and she told me that some people don't even move numbers on the first appointment so it's all just very different but I'm just saying all that to say like it was really really emotional it was really exhausting and I wish I didn't have so many things to do the remainder of the day because I really do feel just completely drained I feel <laughs> I, I feel like my nerves are shot I feel exhausted so that was today's appointment I feel like there was more I wanted to say about it, but I'm not like in the moment now. It's been a few hours, but I don't really feel like I need to go into details. Um, so that's that for today. I am filming a little update because yesterday I was just so tired. Like I said, my nerves were shot. So I don't even know what I said to be completely honest with you. Um, but that's why I wanted to come back on today because I wanted to talk about that. At this last session, at yesterday's session, I did, you know, she asked me at the end of it, 
do you feel like you need to use the container method, which is kind of like taking all of it and putting it away in the meantime until you can get back to it the following week? And I said no, because I, I mean, I felt okay. It was obviously hard and I was crying and I was upset, but like I felt okay. And the lesson I learned from that is that perhaps I don't skip the container method because as I said in the last clip, I came home from my therapy appointment, which was just an hour of straight crying and tension in the body. And I went immediately to like taking kids every other place that they needed to go. And like I said, I had to have a confrontation and I hate confrontation. I hate it. I'm much better at it now because obviously I'm more confident in where I stand as a person. However, just like intrinsically, I hate conflict. I don't like confrontation. So the original plan was to have a meeting on a different day. And that day I was going to have my CBD oil. I was going to make sure I was going into it calm, like had nothing else planned for the day, which to some people probably sounds dramatic. My husband could have gone into the meeting and not even thought twice about it. But for someone like me, I wanted to make sure I was in the right headspace. And I went into that not in the way I expected. It ended up being a phone call. It ended up being right after therapy and right after running kids around. And I was just, I was drained. But I just wanted to mention that later that night when I got home, my body was so sore. My legs, my right hip, it had felt like I had done an extreme workout and I did nothing. I really believe in all of that stuff. I mean, some of it is science and some of it is, you know, I don't know. I, some of it maybe is more just kind of a belief system, but not necessarily backed by science. But you know, the body does hold on to trauma. That is a fact It is scientifically backed. And I think that going, having to force yourself to sit for an hour and discuss trauma, discuss things that are deeply disturbing to you. Having to sit in that for almost an hour, I think it's really taxing on the body. And I think that my body went through a kind of detox. I think I was letting out all of that tension and that is going to show up somewhere in the body. And I just wanted to mention that because maybe it was a complete coincidence. It could entirely be a total and complete coincidence but it was something that I experienced at the end of the day. I was so sore. My body was just wrecked. But then today I woke up and my body feels completely normal. So I believe that it definitely has something to do with the therapy and that process yesterday. But I just wanted to kind of come back on and, you know, round out that thought process because yesterday I... I, I just don't even know that I was like coherent. I don't know that anything that I said made sense. So if you guys have any questions up to this point, please leave them down below. And until the next one, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.